Who's the toughest guy you ever played against? There, there was a stretch where uh, Allen Iverson was just really, I mean, he was, he was a load to deal with, man. He was really, really tough. And there was a game where he dropped 44 on me in Philadelphia. There was a game in New Jersey where Marbury dropped 50 on me. There was a game where Arenas had 60. Uh, Going Carmelo, here 70. Carmelo Anthony is always a, tough for me to deal with. You know, Durant's always tough uh, to deal with. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's a lot of guys. But the guy that always gave me the most problems actually was Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tracy something McGrady, about the... man. Tracy McGrady with his, you know, he, he had all the skills and all the athleticism, um, but he was 6'9". And he was really, really tough to figure out. I'm telling you right now, if you make a 5'9 guard on an NBA video game and they put you on my team, I'm back and I'm blocking you. Fuck that! Now, with that being said, if you are a content creator by any means, go ahead and create that build and try to get your videos off. And, of course, we mean no disrespect to anybody that's 5'9 or shorter. Or if you're 5'9 and shorter and want to go to the NBA, you know, more power to you. This is for an NBA video game that you're spending money to make a build on. Simple as that. Now, if you want to be more realistic, you look in the top 20, you see Jalen Brunson, Kyrie Irving, Stephen Curry, Darren Fox. And these are all smaller guards, but they're about 6'2", 6'3". So you can make a very good guard build, but you do need the stick skills. And while you might sacrifice some defense being 6'2", at 5'9", it's going to be like you're not even out there. Now, the reason I included the Kobe clip is because in NBA 2K, the builder seems to work backwards. For whatever reason, they want to incentivize you to make smaller builds by giving you more attribute points. But as Kobe clearly said, Tracy McGrady at 6'9 was very difficult to guard because of his athleticism and skills. And as you make your player taller, your caps for your athleticism and skills shrink. And this is what makes it tough to make certain builds and why build videos are so popular. This content creator here tried to make LeBron James. Now, why is it tough to make LeBron James in NBA 2K? Simply because LeBron James can do so much stuff in real life that if you put it in a my player, he would essentially be a demigod. Now, as far as finishing goes, close shot is typically tied to driving layup as well so if you move the driving layup to 90 i'm pretty sure that brought the close shot up so 90 driving layup is good for lebron as well as 87 driving dunk the 79 post control is enough i know a lot of players don't even use post control especially to shoot post fades maybe they get down in the post so that's good enough as well uh the shooting i do think the three-pointer should be like an 85 and i would definitely drop that mid-range to like a high 70 like 78 79 maybe even 77 maybe even as low as 75 for the sake of the build while lebron does shoot some post fade mid ranges i don't think he really just hunts the mid range enough to have almost a 90 mid range it feels like a bit of a waste of some attributes there uh now the playmaking looks pretty fair to be honest but lebron james is a phenomenal passer so if you could find a way to upgrade the passing to 90 that would definitely help out as well the 85 ball handling i'm okay with that the speed with ball 75 looks like that's as high as that will go so that's capped out as well um the defense i think the perimeter defense is fair the interior defense is also fair i mean that could be a little bit higher but i won't Sit here and pretend like LeBron James is actually just sitting down in the paint, actually trying to defend the paint. So if the interior defense is going to be that low, you might as well go ahead and drop the block down as well. He's not chasing down as many shots and blocking as many shots as he was in the past. Because I would like to see that be allocated more to the athleticism, maybe get some more speed and agility, higher vertical and strength. Because he's definitely a very strong player. And on top of that... The defensive rebounding is just far too low. It's a 53 overall. He's definitely a really good defensive rebounder. Now, I do understand that you have to make some sacrifices, but I don't think this is going to come out to a LeBron James build. Now, I will say it is more challenging doing it with the exact same height and weight, but getting Jalen Brown, DeMar DeRozan, and Brandon Miller, a balanced offensive wing is not a LeBron James build. He's like a two-way point forward scorer. Up next, I came across what they called a 6'8 demigod, 185 pounds, 6'11 wingspan. Looking at the stats off rip, this is a solid two-way build, but this is not a demigod build, and I'm going to tell you why. 
is not overpowered in anything that actually really, really matters or feels game breaking. You know, it has an 89 dunk. That's solid, but that's not high 90s. Gonna get you Hall of Fame posterizer or Legend posterizer. Has a 92 mid range. I feel like when you have a low 90 mid range, that's good, but it's not hard to hit mid ranges at the upper 80s as well. I don't really feel like it's that much of a difference unless you have a very high mid range, like 98, 97. And then the three pointer is a bit low for a demi guy. 83 overall, like you don't really have limitless. Um, you have a respectable three, assuming you have a good jump shot. But realistically, at 83-3 is not striking fear into opponents. Uh, the perimeter defense is very good. I do like that. The 92 overall, you will be able to stay in front of your opponents. But the 85 still, uh, I think that's okay. That's good. That's solid. The build is just trying to be too balanced. Like, you want to finish. You want to be able to shoot. You want to be able to handle the ball. And then you want to be a lockdown defender. Now, you can't be an offensive demigod. Or you could be a defensive demigod, but you cannot be both. Now, you could be an offensive demigod with a high steal. You could be an offensive demigod with high perimeter, but you can't have it all. That's the point I'm making. It's spread a bit too thin to be called a demigod in any category, but this is still a very, very solid build. You know, this is a respectable build to go out there and play with. And I'm saying this from experience. I made this build, the same exact title build last year, two-way, three-level shot creator. I spread myself too thin it's a very good build within the scheme of a team but if you want to focus on excelling in certain categories you got to trim it down do the knowledge nigga as you can see i made this build last year now we get into the next build this is supposed to be the Wimbenyama build now Wimbenyama is a real life demigod i know for a fact that you can't make a seven six uh shooting dunking blocking dribbling passing center in the game in NBA 2K25, he is a 91 overall this year. He is literally a demigod in the game. To be fair, the builder's just not advanced enough to create a Wimbiyama build realistically. But if you can get the title, I'll give you some credit. Um, but, like, it's impossible to make a Wimbiyama build in this game. I mean, you can only be 7'3". You can't be very quick. I mean, you can put the high block on him, but his three-pointer seems a bit higher than the 73. His perimeter defense definitely should be higher than the 63 because he can easily contest on the perimeter because of his length. His interior defense should be a lot higher but to be honest given the limitations of creating a 7-3 player uh with an eight foot wingspan because it's definitely hard to put a high three on an eight foot wingspan player to 7-3 i think this is a, a decent Wimbiyama build to be honest given the limitations of course to be honest this is pretty much him it's just a scaled down my player version you just can't make him any better like you don't have enough attribute points to make him that great in the game so Hey, look, I'm going to give him some credit. <laughs> That's hilarious. He got the Victor Wimbiyama build. So, hey, he did He did make him. He got the title. So, like I said, you get the title, I'll give him credit. Up next, we got the 6'6 all-around demigod build. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Joe Nose does know how to make some very good comp builds. Um, but the thing is you have to differentiate when he's just making a build maybe for content and trying to mimic a certain character or player and when he's actually trying to make a comp build. Uh, this build here, I think it's a good build. Like kind of like the last six A build, it's a good all around build. Like this is a good build, but you can't be all around and demigod. That's all I'm saying. Like you can't be both. You're either gonna be all around and be kind of balanced at some things, or you're gonna be extremely elite at some things that are just gonna make you overpowered. This is a good season one point guard wreck build, but as the game progresses and people start to learn more animations and get more cheesy, you'll start to see people concentrate their attributes into certain categories to make them more overpowered. It happens like that every single year in 2K. But this is a good starting build if you want to start off and go to the wreck and have a balanced build where you can play multiple positions. Now, the Kevin Durant build is just flat out a myth. You can't do it. I'm going to be honest with you. You cannot make a Kevin Durant build in this game as hard as you possibly try. Simply because Kevin Durant is so tall... And his wingspan is so long, you can't get a high enough three-pointer. Kevin Durant has a low 93. And for the my player, I will say 85 is solid, but he also has a much higher speed with ball. 68 is slow. He is definitely like an 80 speed with ball, 80 speed type player. The defense rebounding is a bit too high. You could definitely drop that down to about lower 70s, maybe even mid-60s. 
Post control could be dropped down to like an 85. Block could be dropped down to like a lower 70, maybe mid 60. And you can increase the perimeter defense because Kevin Durant does have better perimeter defense uh, than low 70s for sure. Yeah, this one could definitely be tweaked. This one was a bit lazy. I'm not going to lie. Giving Kevin Durant a 73 free throw was crazy. Like, you could at least go mid 80s, bro. 73 is just ridiculous. There's no need to give Kevin Durant a low free throw just to try to go for the name you know like make a realistic build out here if you want people to make the build make a build that people can actually try to make it actually hoop with but you know this one could have took a little bit more effort to try and make it more like kevin durant because you know, i don't really feel like you should have attributes higher than kevin durant actually has them i mean i feel like it's one thing if you don't have enough attributes but it's, it's another thing to have stuff higher than kevin durant actually has in real life I'm not going to lie to you. While the title is not bad, three-level score, I don't feel like this one is it, man. Paolo Bancaro is a solid comp, but not Carl Anthony Towns and not Julius Randle, in my opinion. But anyways, if y'all enjoyed this video, y'all be sure to hit the like button, hit that sub button. Until next time, Denski out.